All right, I want to talk to you today about the primary CCM philosophy. Well, you say, what is CCM? Contemporary Christian music. Okay, that would include a lot of popular styles, pop music, rock and roll, heavy metal, rap music, whatever else. Contemporary Christian music. Now, right away, with that title, you know you have a problem because the Bible says in the end times, people are going to fall away from the truth. So if it's a contemporary movement, if it hasn't been there 200, 300, 500 years ago, whatever else you go back through, um, that's problem number one. But uh, just to give you a little history, um, I used to be, as a teenager, and even up into my 20s, I was a very um, ardent defender of CCM, uh, most forms of it. I was introduced to it back when I was a, a boy, um, back in the early 1980s. I was born in 1975, so when the whole movement was happening and, they, and all the fighting going on within churches and, and whatever else, uh, I was there. A lot of you young people out there, you think that you've come up with arguments and whatever else or things you know that uh, old time guys like myself and people even older than me, uh, we've never thought of it before. Uh, yes, we have. I'm very familiar with it because I used to be, this was one of my philosophies I lived by. And philosophy, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. Okay, remember that. But number one, Here's what CCM, CCMers will believe. And I still have you know, family and other things that are into this movement still today. So, and this is what they do. Number one, God only cares about the lyrics. God doesn't care about the style. Whatever the style is, the genre, we'll see that next in the next point. It's up to you. It's a matter of personal preference. God only cares what are the people saying. The style of music he doesn't care about. There's no preference. Get back to that one. Number two, the style, genre of music is a matter of personal preference. If you like contemporary Christian music that's more of a country, western flair, or you like the rock music, or you know, kind of the hard rock, or the soft rock, or the you know, kind of the teeny bopper, uh, pop music, um, whatever, it's up to you to decide. Now, as a Bible-believing Christian, you need to look at that and say, wait a second, if it's up to me to decide... Uh, there's a problem there. Um, big problem there. Why? Who was it that said ye can be as gods? Uh, I believe that would be Satan in the book of Genesis. And one of the biggest philosophers, when you study the whole rock music thing, one of the biggest philosophers was a man named Aleister Crowley. And Crowley, his, his big thing that he came out with that a lot of these secular rock musicians, you know, the reason they idolize him, like the Beatles, um, Led Zeppelin, uh, Jimmy Page from Led Zeppelin, actually bought Aleister Crowley's mansion when Aleister Crowley died. Died and went to hell and he's burning down there and he deserves every bit of it. He was a very, very evil man. I've read some of the writings of Aleister Crowley. He was into ritualistically uh, molesting and sacrificing young boys. Uh, he was a sick, sick individual, very sick man. And he came up with the philosophy of do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law is one of his things. Um, and this philosophy, do what thou wilt, is just a repackaged version of what Satan said to Eve in the Garden of Eden. Ye can be as gods. You say, well, what's it have to do with CCM? Because that's up here. The style of music is a matter of personal preference. Ye can be as gods, knowing good and evil. Why? Because God doesn't care. The God of the universe, who has everything in such order and such precision, and everything is just put in its place, and this is that and that, that music... Oh, I, whatever. I don't care. Just do what you want. I don't know. That's not the God of the Bible. Okay? That's not at all the God of the Bible. God has a very, very um, set method of, of you know, music being played to him. Um, and, and, of course, it's, it's, you can even use science to back this whole thing up. And there's plenty of scripture as well, which we'll be getting into in other videos. But... Uh, just say God doesn't have a per matter of personal preference. It's, you know, when it comes to music, you can listen to whatever you want. That's a satanic philosophy down here. You can be as gods, knowing good and evil. Like I said, I'll talk more about that in other videos. This is just going to be a short one to kind of introduce this subject. Um, again, I'll talk more about that. Number three, once you establish that God only cares about lyrics, if you're a CCMer. Number two, the style of music is up to you. It's up to me. Number three, I listen to secular music on occasion, but I ignore the words. 
Why? Because it's the style I like. So I can listen to Metallica and I just don't listen to the words. <laughs> Hello? I can listen to ACDC again in my youth. And you know how I got into that whole thing? Because I started out up here. Oh, I, I like the music, but I just, I, I ignore the words. I don't listen to the words. Mm -hmm. And yet I can repeat uh, almost by memory all the words to Metallica songs uh, that I used to listen to when I was out you know, raising, you know what, as a teenager in high school. I was a very uh, wicked youth. Um, and it was the heavy metal that got me into that stuff, by the way. But they'll do this thing. And then even the modern CCM bands, like uh, I think it's Third Day or something like that, another, and I've, I've heard of a couple other ones, and they'll do what's called a crossover album. Where that's that we're still gospel, we're still about, we're still Christians, but but we just wanted to kind of do an album that's more, you know, geared for both secular and saved. Mm -hmm. uh, why? For the money, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, all the time, all the time. And then you have some of these these uh, CCM artists that actually flip completely over to serving Satan. Like one of the best examples would be Katy Perry. Started out. Christian, and then she's now a Satanist, coming out with some of the most satanic stuff out there, you know, and then she cries crocodile tears, you know, worldly sorrow, I just want to be who I was, you know, I, I'm just a, you know, and she goes and visits with the Pope and everything else, and mm -hmm, servant of hell is all she is, but you'll see this thing time and time and time again. I did a video years ago about this guy, this Christian rocker, uh, Tim Lambesis, and he came out and he was trying to hire somebody to kill his wife. And he went to prison for it. And in prison, he said, well, he said, I guess it's time to tell the truth. I'm actually an atheist. Mm -hmm. um, kind of funny because uh, atheists believe you can be as gods, knowing good and evil. Yeah. But you go through these three, and then when somebody calls you out for this stuff, as a Christian rock supporter, Christian contemporary Christian music supporter, you say, you oppose me, therefore you are a Pharisee. I used to do it. I used to do it. I was there. There were no such things as uh, contemporary worship services when I was a boy, maybe out in California or something out there. Um, it was unheard of where I grew up. I used to actually think it'd be neat to have you know heavy metal and rock and roll in the Sunday morning service when I was going to church growing up. I thought that'd be great. That's how wicked I was. You know, I remember there was a pastor that, that came and he was, you know, auditioning, I'd say it that way, Deput deputization or whatever they call it. Um, he was there and he was going to be a pastor at the church where I grew up, Calvary Monument Bible Church. Bill Stoner was his name. And um, I remember uh, my father actually stood up and said, what do you think about contemporary Christian music, specifically rock music? And he said, I think it's wicked and of the devil. You can't make it Christian. And you know what I called him? Pharisee. Oh, you're a Pharisee. Oh, you, you're self-righteous. You, oh, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because you see, this right here is a satanic philosophy. The whole thing. If you're a defender of contemporary Christian music, you are defending a satanic form of music. Okay? And many years ago, I think it was 2011 or something, I did an audio sermon back at Bible, Bible Believers Fellowship um, called The Devil and Music. Um, it's still here on YouTube. I'm going to put some links to it down in the description box. Um, I had to take it off my channel because there's styles of, you know, little segments of music to try and prove my point. Perfectly legal under section five or uh, 501c3. <laughs> under section 107 of U.S. copyright law, fair use. 501c3 is what church buildings do under the IRS code, but but uh, we won't get into that right now either. The ones that uh, accept this stuff and close their churches down when the government tells them to, you know, they do what they're told. Yeah. Um, except in the rock music, and then the government controls them openly now, and they're just submitting to the government. Satanic centers, every one of them. But I have this audio sermon that you can listen to. I do have to say it was made years ago, so I, I do talk about the Trinity in the beginning. Um, I always believe in the Godhead. But I never, I never really understood why using the word Trinity in Trinitarian terms is really a bad idea. So I have to put that little clause in there 
There were a few other things that were kind of, eh, eh, you know, it was done a long time ago, you know, nine years ago I made this, you know, study, but um, it thoroughly proves the origin of rock music and going through the scriptures and things, why it's wrong, okay? Um, so, uh, like I said, I'm going to put some links to it uh, at the end, you know, down in the description box. You can listen to it. They're not even on my channel, so hopefully they won't take those, you know, sermons down, whatever else. But it's out there. It's online. You can hear it. Uh, I am going to redo that study at some point in time, the Devil and Music study, and you include video and whatever else, but it's going to have to be an offline video because if it's online on YouTube, they're just going to flag it for copyright violation, even though I'm legally allowed to use some, you know, fair use type of, you know, video. So, um, but just watch out for this philosophy right here. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy. And it is a philosophy. Uh, and it is clearly satanic. That's, again, I got saved. The Lord saved me. Born again. Became a new creature in Christ Jesus. And my love for the, the rock thing just started to fade and fade and fade. And then I started to study what the roots of rock music were and the whole CCM thing and what a lot of these people were actually saying. Um... And what they really believed, and I and I realized how deceived I had been into falling for this stuff, and I repented of it. I burned, I think it was over a thousand, one thousand dollars worth of CCM. Back then, it was cassette tapes. Way back, you know, not maybe not as bad as records, you know, the old big black records, but uh, but I had CDs, I had cassette tapes, I had a, a lot of stuff like that, and and I burned it, got rid of it because I realized it was satanic, genuinely satanic. Okay, but I'm going to do a few other videos just to kind of prove some points here and show you from the scriptures why it's wrong. So uh, if you want to check out the audio sermon, go ahead. But don't be fooled by this philosophy. God only cares about the lyrics. That is a lie. God cares about the style of music. God does not want your flesh being lifted up by the heavy driving rhythm of rock music. Somebody comes along and says, God doesn't care about the style of music. That's a lie. Uh, the style of music is a matter of personal preference. Well, then you can be as gods. It's up to you. Okay? See the satanic influence again there? Or follow Crowley. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. I only have a little bit written there. But number three, these people here will get into secular music. You start out here and you end up here. Start out with smoking cigarettes, a little bit of marijuana, and before long, you're down to crack cocaine or heroin or something like that. See, this stuff here, this CCM thing, will draw you into the secular every single time. And it's interesting because as I was preparing this study and some of my other videos I'm going to be doing here, I actually received a letter from a viewer that proves exactly what I'm saying. A little bug flying there. Um, we're going to read the letter in another video. But... Uh, then you, you get into this thing of calling somebody who opposes you, somebody that sees through the system of this CCM stuff being satanic. Oh, you're a Pharisee. I think that you're a bit of a Pharisee. So um, please watch the other videos and uh, don't be drawn in by the CCM stuff, the contemporary Christian music. It's, um, it's actually not even contemporary too. I bring that in, out in my other study. It's very old. Um, it comes from voodoo. It comes from, from witchcraft. Uh, it's, the very heavy emphasis on drum rhythm and beat is a ancient pagan style of music, thousands of years old. So um, if you're listening to that stuff, you've been deceived and you're not right with God, period. Again, I speak from experience. So that's going to be it. Please check out the other videos.